It was Sunday night. Um, my daughter and her friend were setting out in my car listening to music. And um, I was in the house with the other two kids and they came barging through the door and they're like, there's a clown outside. And I'm like, oh, stop, that's not funny, you know. And she's like, no, I'm serious, mommy's shining the flashlight on me. So I looked out the window and I seen his flashlight like flickering. Smith said she looked through her window and saw a man wearing a black and white clown costume. And we seen someone sitting on those bricks shining a flashlight at us. With a painted white face and immediately, called 911. We did get a report of there may be a clown in a vacant home. Um, the police department went, officers searched, that no indication of a clown being there. Um, it's not to say that uh, some kids aren't seizing upon this nationwide um, event and dressing up as clowns to, to scare people. And that's exactly what happened to Amanda Smith's family. I have three girls, um, with my youngest one being six. Uh, we have all been sleeping in the living room on a mattress since last Sunday, just so I know that we're all safe. And safety is Smith's and the police department's number one goal. With Halloween around the corner, Detective Volpe has a message for those who want to dress up with the intent to scare people before the holiday. Dressing up as a clown in and of itself is not a crime. Um, Halloween, there's going to be clowns around. Um, but I do want people to be warned that if people are dressing up as a clown, only to go out and scare people and cause any kind of uh, chaos, they will be arrested.